Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome ye all to part 17 of Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning on the Xbox One X via the Back Compat program. We are exactly where we were, as you can see, on this gorgeous waterfall that we were on at the end of part 16. Next to this little lore stone we just got. And we really haven't thoroughly been round these... <laughs> well, I haven't been round Diden Hill at all, apart from following the, the chappy on a quest... Pretty sure I got that one while I was following him, did I? No, I didn't. Bloody hell. Let's get that while we see it. The water shaped with ease. The sand bent just as well. The plants gave way. The beasts have fled. Even stone must give way to my love. For Dara is grander than this lake I craft. This lock beside this hill. For her, a century's task seems effortless. Well, blimey, eh? Ferrani Fosthelm. Frosthelm, sorry. Well, it's no good to me, but it uh, looks pretty swanky. There's a lambent shard, that, wasn't it? Oh, hello. There's a dive here. You'd actually discover that if you jump down from that other section, though, wouldn't you? Over to the side. To the side, lad. Bandits. Well, they stood no chance. Whoa. <laughs> well, the right was still going. Why I'm picking up these ember eyes, I have no idea. Hey, ember eyes. Right, I think a. I... We should leave a full investigation of this area for another time. Perhaps. There's something going on up here. Let's go and have a look. Brownies. Oh, these chakrams are pretty sweet, aren't they? That we've made. I think I've been up here before. It rings a bit. I know oh, I haven't. It's chesty. Yeah, I'm feeling the extra power in these bad boys. Jesus. Right, anyway, I'm going completely the wrong way. Right, I'm going to head towards... We'll go to Gorhart and pray at this shrine. We're on the quest to... Pray. You have to pray at three shrines at the monk's shrines. And it upgrades these beads. It's a little quest we have. Right, you are. Right, so we've got one place left and we haven't been there yet. So we'll get as close as we can, which is Star Camp. Oh, a bit of an argument says we could run around from here. Star Camp looks closer, but it got very complicated when we went that way. Let's try it from here. Let's see. Might make more sense on the uh, on the map if we do it from this direction. Hmm. 
Okay, so I want to go down the path and then Lynx! Jesus Christ, I forgot about these badges. Check that following me on the mini-map. <laughs> Jesus Christ, they're a bit keen. Oh, interesting. Yeah, seems to be bringing us back round to... Oh, Christ, they're still coming, aren't they? Well, it's only the little dudes, isn't it, by the looks of it? To be fair, the big fight, big guys are probably a lot easier now as well. Be worth checking that out as it happens, see if they are much easier. Yeah. It's taking me the same bloody way, I think. Ooh. Hidden little places. A dagger that may have, at one point, been great value to some organisation or group. Uh, is it just a... Uh, oh, I've put it in my junk. L unlocked? Oh, right, so yeah. <laughs> got poison flying out of my hands. Uh, hang about. Straight up. There's a question mark up here as well as it happens. Ooh. Building in the distance. And on the left. New little area. Use the uh, the heavy move on the daggers there. Very nice. Well, it looks like the shrine it up here. Yep, Saint Edric's. Oh, hang on. Let's do the praying before we go to him. It's a slightly be slightly more beautifully placed shrine than the other, isn't it? So that quest is now done, I assume, completely. Alright. So the beads that we had in our inventory now have plus 15% damage versus Niskaru. Niskaru. Seems reasonable. We'll have a little save, I think, before we head on. A well that is, in fact, just a well, funnily enough.
What? Jesus. Nice to see you, my child. And you? All is going well for you this day. It is, thank I you. I have a request. A selfish one, but have you have any spare time? Sure, I'm always hanging around doing nothing. What's on your mind, brother? Well, it's Brother Padrick. He's a friend of mine. He left about a year's time ago in search of adventure. Said the monk's life was too bland for his tastes. He mentioned hearing about a treasure only found through a hidden exit from Split Rock Depths. That he might find it if he camped in Haxi for a bit. But such a long time has passed and no word from him. I'm terribly worried and I thought you might... Well, you could check up on him for me? I will check, brother. Mitharu's blessings upon you, child. And you. Bless you. Thank you so much. My mind is already at ease knowing you would take on this charge. If it helps... I would begin your search at Split Rock Depths. It is the only place he had mentioned by name. Towards Haxi and into Split Rock Depths. Begin your search for him there. Another right, day, you are. Another blessing. Yeah, we've been to Split Rock Depths before, as it happens. Let's do it. Let's do it. I can always come back there, I guess. Um, just before we do that. I just want to have a little donder about this place because there might be other stuff to do and there's certainly... Mind you, that'll be locked, the chest. Oh, hidden, maybe. Yeah. Well, I guess it's worth having a look in the houses just in case a quest opens up, but I doubt it. Wouldn't be the first time the question mark was inside the house, but not outside on the map. Yeah, we've not done much with our making stuff, have we? Experiment, create, blah. Recipe for minor alchemist art and... Minor health regen. Not a bad little crafting setup, actually. You can just experiment and see what you find. Soft scrabble powder and star thistle. Minor Sorcerer's Intelligence. There you go. What about... Scarab Salts? And Star Thistle. Minor Magic Precision. Lots of magic going on. I think Soft Scrubble Powder seems to be a magical thing. Then. Black Cohosh, which we find a lot of. White Flake. Causes a random effect to occur. This effect may be potentially good or bad. <laughs> Excellent. Sea flax, we don't know. When dried and tightly braided together, threads of th sea flax can, be lend can lend a protective armor-like quality to a potion. Hmm. Measure of powder to almost any poison uh, potion. Alright, maybe it makes them bigger. Anywho, that's enough of that. Probably just uh, filled up my inventory, no reason whatsoever. Increases your total mana pool for a limited time. Yeah. Of 
causes a random effect to occur. <laughs> the unstable potion. I hang on to that, actually, just in case for some bizarre reason it's something I need at some point. Some quest will come up where it says, I need an unstable potion. I doubt it. Right. Uh, check the other house out and then we'll go down and have a look at these other houses. If you're looking for Brother Wolf or Brother Holt, you will have to wait. Both men are out in the wild. Oh, why is he glowing and I can't touch him? Haxi! Me, a Haxi! Haxi, you! I know what to do. Vorm Lodge. Ah! Exclamation mark Welcome, city! Stranger. Welcome to our haven in the Shi. I am Citric Vorm. Hi, Citric. My brother Arhouse and I give assistance to any wayfarer that may need it. Hmm. You look a lot more hearty than the sort we typically get here. You might be able to help me. How can I help? We've had several visitors from Detir tell us that they were savagely ambushed by brownies. Unusual. <laughs> With cream. Brownies of the Shi are not that aggressive. They mostly keep to themselves and only attack when approached. If there is indeed a group of brownies ambushing travellers, then those monsters need to be taken care of. I'll take care of them. Good. I'll see that you are rewarded for your efforts. Good man. I still have trouble believing those brownies would be so aggressive. Most unusual. Well, stick to tiffy, sticky toffee pudding, mate. That's what Good probably hunting. best. Question mark. Our house warm. Welcome to our lodge. Surprised you made it out here by yourself. The she is a dangerous place. Luca Soren, the poor soul in the next room. She did not fare so well. What happened to her? She was attacked by a thresh. Normally a fatal encounter in and of itself. Barely managed to make it here before passing out. If that wasn't enough, she's had a rare reaction to the thresh's usually benign venom. The only thing that will save her is a rare plant found in the she. But I cannot venture out to get one. What is it? I'll get one. You will? Well, if you manage to bring me one, I'll reward you with what I can. I've heard that Seerstalk grow near flowing, misting water, so you might try following the river north. I thought I heard the roar of waterfalls when I once wandered up there. But I didn't go far enough to find out. The she, you know. Uh, say again. Seastalk is supposed to grow near flowing, misting, misting water. water. Right, waterfalls, the river got it. To the northern she. I'm sure I've heard waterfalls in the distance. Gotcha. Um... Junk is sold. Back to 28 in the inventory. I shall see you later. Good man. Uh, actually, hang on a sec. Stay there. How are you faring in the she? Just check what he's got for a second. He's a gem man, isn't he? I'm a gem man. Another time, then. Another time in another place. All right, we got uh, a little bit of treasure going on around here. Uh, Seem to be having a bit of an issue. Oh, hello.
That that grapple hook is well handy for the for them. Bringing them out of the sky. Yeah, I'm having a bit of an issue with the buttons here. Ever since I spoke to that guy, I can't seem to pick anything up. The A button is ceasing to work. Let's try going out and in again. Yeah, it's taken a few hits to get it to go out of there as well. We may have to reload the game, people. Yeah, so hang on. It's very odd. It's working in the menus and working everywhere else, but in the main world, it's taking several hits to get the damn thing to. That's better. First time click and it was all happy again. That's the one. Alright, back on track. If in doubt, turn it off and on again, people. Well, there's waterfalls there. The doors to these ruins seem to be sealed by unknown forces. Star Thistle we've already had. Black Cohosh, isn't it? Yeah. I just thought while we were at Waterfall we might find that herb for that lady that's sick in the bed down there. Well, like... Fuck off. Fuck up. That'll learn ya. Back in hell. 873 gold for killing one of them. They're pretty tough beasts though. I mean, this is why I love Shakrams. You can get so much damage in without getting hammered yourself. Nice. Very nice indeed. Now yeah, there's more waterfalls up there as it happens.
enemies seem a little bit uh, tougher in these here parts. Don't know what these animals are. I've never seen one wandering around. That they're chewing on. That music though, right? Love it. Oh, lost out. While the shaper brushed the plains with hills and wheat, and the carver molded the deserts with a careful measured hand, the third of the majestics stood from the earthen cradle and beheld the glories of their work. He was the architect and carried in his mind a dream, the form of growth, a design shaped in nature. A place of wild abundance in harmony. I don't get it. Anyway, um, <laughs> I feel like I'm hitting them on the money, but I never get it right. It's never going to happen for me, people. I'm going to have to get all of the points in that fucking thing and make it work for me. It matters not at this point, because I'm a gazillionaire in this game, anyway. How come my... Oh, it is. I was going to say, how come my health ain't going up? But it is. Randomia. Well, I think we've come far away from the waterfalls now, as it happens. Let's have a look up here, see if there's some above this one. Well, not sure that we can get above that one. What's this here? What's this here? Oh, it's a shiny rock. <laughs> there was a little plant tucked away there. Kaya Zialaria, that, were there. Well, that's a whole other area. Where the hell are we on the map? Yeah, it's going to take us into there, isn't it? Shove a little nosy. Whoa. Hello. Another mortal, but not like the others. You are welcome here. Nirilim has been waiting. Wow, check that out. There'd be birds and everything flying around these parts. Well, I think... Oh, hello. There's a law stone there, though. This is a whole other area waiting to be sorted out, isn't it? She sought to bring the light of truth, to save a village plagued, to find a cure for them, her quest, the maid of Windermere, her test. How gorgeous is that? She faced the evil maid enraged. She trembled with her wrath. Undo your evil magic now. Or I will end this tale, I vow. Right, I'm gonna I'm not gonna go any further into this, I'm gonna come back to it. There, there'll be a whole thing to do in here, so
We'll come back to these here parts. Getting way ahead of myself, I think. Well, that's sort of bollocks, mate, you were telling me about waterfalls, because I ain't seen one hiding the hair of a damn plant that looks anything like it, and I've been right around the waterfront here. And this takes us back round and out, doesn't it? Aye. Not been up that way yet. Here they come. your feet in this game. Fucking hell, fire. Proper ambush there. Oh flower, oh flower, where art thou? Ardwath. Eh, Ardwath not where the elves live. Embres. I ain't seen nothing that looks like a new type of plant. Fuck off. What a fucking crop this is.
They're a feckin' fecker, those threshers, they really are. I think that was actually quite a good shield, that. It had loads of slots in it. This is like a whole episode of uh, <laughs> just trying to find a herb. Eel petal. Stone. I thought that was the very little spot where they might have Ooh, hello, what's in here? Oh. Looks like there's something in there, but they're not. Strewed the goods of earth and sky jellyfish and waited plans of origins built two-piece planks for wood and stone he began creating waters trickled through the she and life sprung from the ground the wolf and its antelope the bear and its fish all the work of the architect kind of thought this is where I'd already been though Oh, don't remember her or him. Do you wish to join me in meditation, Dustling? Mm, no, thank you. Not today. Really? A crossbow if you're uh, kicking things off and if you use crossbows which I don't Well, I've really just wandered into regions of unknown territory. I've no idea where I'm going. I'm just running around looking for a herb. <laughs> it's the wonder of this game, though. Like, I don't even care. It's just gorgeous to wander about. How interesting it is to watch, I've no idea. <laughs> there you go.
plus 30 health. Not bad, that. I'll keep my regen for now, but I'll keep the... I'll keep that. Wow, they're pretty good trousers for us for a night. Right, seriously, I can't even fucking see. Quest updated. Aggressive brownies returned to Citric Warm. All right, well, that was quick. There'll be another chest kicking around, though. What's this up here? Let's discover it. Embrace. And every agent's found. The tear. Whoa, that's a whole other area. That really is going beyond. So there's no need to go there yet, because we can just go to Rundermere and come back. We don't want to be going there yet, people. Ooh, oh, that's blood root. Level up. <laughs> I'm just wondering if they... I didn't actually activate the quest for... Oh, that's Tinder Twig and Blazing Self Potions. I... Band of Brother Monks. Oh, yeah. Danger of Seed. All oh, right, okay. Just wonder if it'll come up on the map. No, oh, it does as it happens. Way up here. Well, that would have been nice to know. Well, that's... We must have been up there already then, surely. I oh, know we have. Uh... Arduath. It's way up the other side, isn't it? Steve. <laughs> well, that would have saved a bit of running around, wouldn't it? The irony is, I think we might have been here already. Anyway. Let's level up while we're here. Oh, why have they gone red? A failed experiment now results in an unstable potion. Um... Oh, is it because I'm... Is it because I've got a thing against me? God's sake. What's it all about, people, eh? Um...
I'm forever cursed with incurable diseases. Bit of an ad hoc episode, this one. Bouncing around all over the shop. May I help you? Yep. Be safe. Yeah, interesting that, wasn't it? The red is gone. Right, so we were doing Detect Hidden, which did secret doors on minimap. Dispelling, I still want to do at some point. Sagecraft, wasn't it? I wanted to start getting that up. Persuasion's a good one, though, as well. You can strengthen shards by combining two of the same quality to get one the next highest quality. Yeah, we definitely want that. Definitely want that. Let's do that first. Yeah. Da 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 da. Boo! We've got all the poison now. So, what's next? Launch past your foes with pre preternatural speed to attack them from behind. Your deadly grace allows you to deal tremendous amounts of damage from stealth. Unlocks new sneak attacks with daggers or fey blades that can instantly kill an unaware enemy if you deal enough damage. Could come in handy that later. Got quite a lot of moves on the old uh, quick move button at the minute. I'd have to dump something if I take something else now. Uh, can't do that yet. We're on 25 and we need 35 to be able to do that. So we need to keep putting the points in here somewhere. I could do with a passive really. That's passive. Experience with poisons grants you heightened resistance to their effects. Next level, 10% po poison resistance. Not bad, actually. Yeah, we're not doing any of that, are we? Yeah, let's go with this. Do a bit of passive on ourselves. That's 30% poison resistance. That's pretty sweet, isn't it? Just before I do it, let's have a quick look at the... I mean, actually, I want the finesse points so we can do that higher end stuff, but I'm just wondering what passives are in here. You're able to power your abilities with far less mana. All right, okay. Well, I've only got the one spell, um, which does use a lot of mana. Casting, yeah, it's going to go up. Oh, it doesn't go up by as much as I thought, to be fair. It's only going to go up by 6% with the three points that I've got. And what about in here, these parts? A threat of immediate death grants you a chance for a surge of health and a short span of greatly increased damage whenever your health falls below 25%. It's pretty handy. Yeah, I quite like the sound of that, actually. But anyway, I'm going to do these ones first because we need the finesse. I want the finesse points so I can do everything in this tree that we want. So, three of these, I think. Eh? It's better. <laughs> I'm not sure where I fired that point. Okay.
Right. Thank you, healing lady. Fay in Gorehart. Alright. Right. Might as well sell us to them while we're at. I cannot emphasize the importance of what you've done until you destroy goodbye. Uh, 122 grand now. Well, we should have a couple of things to hand in at uh, Vorm's Lodge here. Oh, that's handy, right next to it. So, there was indeed a group of brownies attacking those on the trail to Detir. Yep. Well, here is the reward I promised for taking care of them. Still, it is strange that brownies would act in such a way. I wonder... What would make them do that? I've heard of something that could make them act that aggressively, but it can't be here. We must go to Rundamir. It is the largest brownie den in the Shi. I'm sure we will find the answer there. Awesome. Okay, let's do make it. Make sure you are prepared. Brownies may look weak, but they are ferocious in large numbers. After you are ready, head south. Rundamir is a fey hollow on the edge of the Shi. I will meet you there. All right. Goodbye. Bye. Greetings, wanderer. A seer stock. I cannot believe it. Here is your reward. You more than deserve it. I shall administer this to Luca at once. The seer stock should make quick work of the venom. Excellent. Oh, he's the uh, gem guy, yeah. Safe travels. And you. I'm going to watch what he does here. Hey, she's up. Right, hang on a minute. Let me just check the... Got brownie den. See a stalk. Just making notes of this for the program. Okay. Wonder what she's going to say to us when she comes out of here. Hello. Speak to her. Thank you, stranger. Our house tells me if it were not for you, I would not have recovered. No. Nope. I'm not accustomed to such injury. Usually, I am more than capable of taking care of myself. I have no desire to encounter that thresh again. I will kill the thresh. Do not make that claim lightly, for a thresh is not something so easily overcome. I know. In truth, I would walk easier through the she knowing the thresh has been removed. Please reconsider, for though I wish to see an end put to this creature, I would not risk your life or that of any other. I'm not afraid. If you are determined to defeat it, I will tell you where I encountered it. But go with care, for I have no desire to send you to your death. The Thresh attacked me in the eastern Shi, south of the river. Okay. Later, then. Right, another couple of quests to do in the next part, people. Cracking on now. Yeah, that episode kind of turned into... <laughs> I can't even remember what I decided to do at the beginning of that episode, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's one of those games, people. It just keeps opening up and opening up and opening up. And we've got several areas now on the go, but that's fine. I'm enjoying it that way. And hopefully you're enjoying watching it. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning on the Xbox One X. And I shall see you in the next part, folks. Take it easy. Bye.